bloody hell. <laughs> that is craziness. Anyway, so, hang on a minute. Oh. All right, people, we're gonna do a little test and review of a top on thermal imaging camera. This is the TC001. Just to cut to the chase, I'm very impressed. Whilst I'm not being paid, I've got this for free, but I've got one for you as well. So if you stay tuned, I'll tell you how to enter the giveaway. So Arthur's joining in the review as well. I'll do a quick unboxing and then we'll try it out. First of all, packaging. Quality, absolute quality. It's just one of them nice, like classy, expensive feeling experiences. You get this little um, case with it and then inside, this is a nice foam. This is the main camera. I've got the Android one, but you can get one for iOS. This is to plug it into your laptop or computer. You've got a little cloth to clean it. And it doesn't come with this. This is a little USB extender. It's just so it can actually plug into your phone and you can keep your case on. I've already uploaded the app. So I'm just gonna plug this into there and then turn the camera so it faces your other camera, plug it in, and then I've got it so it loads up automatically. Temperature mo monitoring, you've got a gallery there. Personal information, you've got thermal imaging as well. I'm just gonna set this up on the gimbal so I can walk you around and show you what it looks like. It has got in-app recording. I will record the screen as well so I can show you exactly what I'm doing. Is that gonna block my camera? It will. Oh, fuck it. I go like that. I'm recording in app now, so I'll show you on screen. I'm looking back at my camera there. And so this is what we're gonna take a look at later to see what kind of thermal bridging knot I've actually got. And it, I like on screen, so you can see here, the red bit there, that is the hottest on screen, hottest temperature, and the coolest is in blue. Up, right up in this corner can you see that up there I was having a look at this earlier this was quite interesting the reason why I was interested in this earlier is because I've got some thermal cracking around the windows just over here on this side of the building now over here you can see in the center of the screen that's 26 degrees at the moment but earlier it was about 50 degrees when the sun was directly on it so it's you can understand how it's expanding and contracting accordingly if you look at the sun, that's how hot it is at the moment. Now that's burning the actual um, sensor. Can you see that? <laughs> in uh, a little bit, it will click and then it will reset because I, I panicked, I thought I broke it. What you can do is you can go over to this other option and then you can put the picture up, up the transparency. See that? So that's what we're looking at. Isn't that brilliant? Now it's good because you're recording on screen, even though the resolution on this is really good in comparison to other ones that you can get. Um, if to get this kind of resolution, you'd be having to spend like a load of money, a load of money, like a grand or so. But the resolution on this is really good. So you don't necessarily need this screen, but it's just a cool little feature. Just to mention, don't, don't do what I've just done. Don't look at the sun in it. <laughs> I think it does damage the screen. Uh, it's almost like the software inside it gets rid of it, but I can see it's almost like burnt it inside. So yeah, don't do that. So later on, we're gonna take a look inside here, see whether I've got any thermal issues. I don't think I will have, I should be okay, but tonight it's dropping down to about eight degrees. I'll have to film it late when it's all, well, it will be dark and we can see how much I'm suffering from any thermal bridging. I did go on holiday to Wales into a nice little cottage. I'd done a little bit of filming there and I'll show you that now and I'll do a little bit of a voiceover. We stayed in the cottage in the middle of Snowdonia, but before we get to that, I just want to show you, I did get a new camera for my birthday. This is one of the walks that we went on. Um, how are you sure? Yeah. Look at Lou, just like hanging on for dear life. That was about a 10 foot drop just off there. And little Arthur, he's in the bag because his little legs can't quite take it. This was about six miles, this trek that we've done. 
and he just sits there in a bag. Happy as Larry. This uh, bag is actually for carrying children, but the dog bags don't really tend to cater for him that particularly well, so I had to get him this one. Back to the cottage. So this side that we're looking at is north facing, the other side is south facing. So we're gonna walk down and, and take a look inside. This particular building, I think it's a converted uh, like hound kennels. And just inside the doorway, it's a big like vaulted area, full height. And on the back side, this is the north side, you can see where the rafters are, but you can especially see it up the top. It's heated through the slate roof through the rafters and you can see the actual nails are glowing as well just there that is the switch for the immersion heater and we'll go through into the bedroom you can see the rafters clearly i don't believe that they've used um, insulation underneath the rafters and probably got converted many years ago okay it's like 11 o'clock at night and you shouldn't be able to see me i'm standing in the field i am here and I'm also here. And I'm also here. But if we put the infrared on, can you see me now? Can you see me now? Can you see me now? Run. Roger. No, no, and the two offenders are just ahead of the dog unit. Yeah, everyone, you're going to get them very shortly now. They'll be on your right-hand side. They're climbing over into fields. <laughs> Mate, this is absolutely awesome. Look, I'm, I'm in the pitch back. Look, there. And then I can walk along with this and I know exactly where I'm going. So you can change the color grades to black and white and stuff and purple and green. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go inside the house now and uh, take a look inside to see whether I've got any thermal issues anywhere. It looks weird how the Velux is there, a lower temperature than anything else. I mean, it's just mental how uh, you can see that. Look, isn't that crazy? Okay, right, can I see down the ditch? <laughs> shit, shit. Okay, we're inside now. I'm going to show you about to see whether there's any thermal issues at all. I know there's a couple of spots, but it'd be interesting to see exactly what. So we're looking at the Velux. I'd say the worst bit on here are the warm edge spaces on the actual glass. We've only got double glazing. There's a little tiny bit around this frame. I'm surprised that this here, this reveal, isn't colder because I used a tile backer board instead of ins proper insulation. I just wanted to show you the Velux in the daytime. I said it was a warm edge spacer. It's not a warm edge spacer, it's just a spacer. You can see where it's shiny so that's actually made out of aluminium which is rubbish in comparison to a warm edge spacer and that's the reason why i get so much condensation around the edge of the glass in the winter router router and the power pack that's starlink door the door looks like it's a bit of an issue uh, especially around the edge that's proper cold there rafters cold bridging or thermal bridging because it can go either way so it's thermal uh it's cold and warm so you can see can you make out where the screws are and the rafters just so there's a tiny 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 bit of thermal bridging just there um everywhere else looks absolutely fine uh this side you can't see it at all you can't see the rafters now i think that's because that's got tiles on and over this side it's got the uh, solar panels that's still warm 
which is crazy. This is like the, uh, an induction hob. You can see the cold water pipes down there. I'm surprised that there's no uh, cold air coming through where the soil pipe is. That's right in the center there. It's fine. You can make out the cold tap again. The toilet, that's cold. And then, uh, oh, Velux again. And I've put the towel radio on so you can see it. And then little Arthur, look at little Arthur. Arthur, hey monkey, hey monkey. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? He's asleep. <laughs> you see these little blue spots here? They're from like water where he's had a drink. And watch this, this is the carpet. Look, I've just literally put my, look. And mental is that? Isn't that crazy? It's quite freaky, look. If you're interested in a thermal camera for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description to the Amazon store. They often have deals in there, so check it out. If you're an early viewer though, you do get a chance to actually win one of these and the entries are simple. I'll leave that in the description. All you need to do is go to the Facebook page of Top Don, like that. You also need to follow them on Instagram and you need to comment down below. And just to make it a little bit easier for me to actually see who wants to enter, you have to put hashtag top don. I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.